Whoa, that ectoplasm is one hell of a lube. Howdy do, I'm Andrew, and welcome to Brim. Dear Diary, they say friends are the family we choose which by implication means our family is the family we don't choose. If you're wondering why I'm stating something that obvious, wait until you meet my father. That's him. He is deaf. And I don't mean that like in he's dead serious or he bores me to death. No, he literally is deaf ruler over the underworld, reaping the souls of the living after they pass away. Well, that alone wouldn't be much of a problem. I mean, other children have cruel parents as well. Parents who are tax officers, lawyers, or even teachers. My problem is, for days, I've been dreaming of this human boy crying out for me. I don't know him, but I have the strong feeling that I have to come and help him. However, father would never, ever allow me to travel to the land of the living because he's practically afraid of everything I want to do. I'm not to play basketball since I might get a splinter in my finger. I must not go into the forbidden forest because, quote, an unimaginable evil lives there, unquote. And the land of the living, you might guess it, is a no-go as well. Don't get me wrong, I usually do what father tells me, but not this time. This time, I'm going to find a way to escape. The catch? We've just had a big fight, and eventually, father grounded me and locked me up inside my room. So I have to find a way to get out of here first. Maybe I should start searching by examining the strange box by the window that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. All right, so can we walk around or oh, it's just okay. So it's a point and click A box how in Hades name did this get here? What is that? <laughs> Hi what kind of beastie are you? Yeah huh. Seems like a shy little fellow just wait I'm going to get you I gave up using blankets to play ghosts years ago. The real dead are so easily offended. Okay, so let's go up the ladder. I'm gonna get you. Oh, it won't oh. move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. Hmm. But everything's in black and white. It's hard to skeleton arm. Ooh, that'll work. Okay, so inventory. We scroll up. Swiss Army Scythe. That's cool. Do I need to like... Oh, and we can use it on things. Aya! I see two problems here. First, <sighs> the little creature flees to the ceiling as soon as I get close with the arm. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I can paralyze it for a while. Rude. Second, I'm only going to hurt it with the arm. I should concentrate on cutting the cobweb thread. Ah. Okay, so then this. Great idea. The skeleton arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Oh. Now, I just need <laughs> something to use my new invention with. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. I meant to combine those. I, I knew that. I knew to do that. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Hmm, what now? Well, now you click the thing. You, 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 let me grab that again. You dingus. No! Don't get down! Get back up there. Eh, you have to click so precisely. Hiya! You bastard. Good idea, but the little guy escapes to the ceiling as soon as I get close. If I could only distract him somehow. Bottling jar. Don't know what that is. Just look at all these beautiful glowing lights inside the jar. Father gave them to me as a death day present. He says they're called hot spots. Whatever that means. There is some sticky sweet mucus at the bottom. 
probably it has been used to attract the fireflies. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I'd love to free the glowing thingies, but I can't get the lid off. My palms are too sweaty. He's oh, weak, arms are heavy? Father, but it probably isn't the best time now. What's this? Ugh, Ectoplasm. Seems like father brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. Very oily. Ah. Limby, I need a hand here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> it worked. Fly, little hot spots. Your time in captivity is over. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh. They don't leave. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. Okay. From now on, you can press space to show item hotspots. Ah, the ladder's stuck. Oh, but it's oily. Other girls have walk in. I okay, shush. Hooray. Hello. Okay. This guy. Hello. This guy. Aya. Mm, that should do the trick. Yeah, it should. Okay, let's give this another try. Whoa, that ectoplasm is one hell of a lube. Ew, you're a child. Watch your mouth. <sighs> Father says, in contrast to common belief, only Vampire X can keep vampires away, whereas garlic only drives off the people you love. On the tag, it says, warning, may irritate the eyes. I'm down here now. Ah, like this. Oh, this doesn't hurt too bad. Now we can grab this and do it. Boom. Bonk. <laughs> yes. Now the jar, I assume. Or not. gone again. It's just right there. <laughs> oh, Why you rascal. I feeling that it's making fun of me. <laughs> Every time I try to grab hmm. it, it flees to another position inside the shelf. Maybe I can set a trap? Oh, that's a, that's an oversight. <laughs> now there's two of them. Stay here. Hey. That's not quite a bug, but that is an oversight for sure. And it's gone again. Maybe. Oh, if I can put the, the jar here in the gap. Maybe if I place this in here. That's what I said. My spidery friend will get stuck in the sweet mucus at the bottom. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's put the lid back. Gotcha. <laughs> I won. Oh, don't cry. Let me suggest something. If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Okay, we have a gap here. Maybe we could put him in the gap and he could unlock the door? Okay, little friend. I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through that crack into my father's study and get me the keys to my door? Oh, good. <laughs> You're so cute. Good luck. I should keep an eye on this eye. The Dobby? Okay, so where are the eye now? Okay, we're trying to get the keys that are where? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! Okay, so he's a problem. So I guess we need to turn off the radio to get him to move. Let's turn it back on so that we can go over here and get something, but we need him to fuck off. Um, strange herb, strange herb. Ah, take that, you. What? What was that? <laughs> okay. Look at him. <laughs> Run! Quick, get away! Okay, so he's getting up. Yeah, I bet we do put some strange herbs in his pipe. Yes. This one. Go, go, go. Put it in. You can't drug my father? Yes, we can. We don't even know what kind of plant that is. It could turn him into some kind of ugly skeleton monster. He already is. <laughs> No, seriously, let's find out what these plants are before we do anything stupid. Check these herbs. Thanks, little friend. Herbology book. So, how do I find out what kind of plant you are? The herbology book. It's over here behind where I am right now. It's right here. Right there. Ooh, let's see if I can find my two planty friends in here. Okay. A magical identification key. Well, that's what I call a coincidence. Hmm. What is the color of the blossom? Let's look at the black one first. I think it's tubular. Um, what's the shape of the stem? Ah, oh, hell, I don't know. Hang on. All right. Uh, sharp, jagged stem, bulbous, and black. Uh, jagged, 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 jagged. Oh, this is yeah. it. This looks exactly like the plant from Father's study. Acheron Swamp Trumpet, famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music, and therefore used as a party drug by the river spirits. All right, white, jagged. Right, it's like this, and yes, it has thorns. And here goes the second one, White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest. Known for its narcotic effect, which is, unfortunately, so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. Okay. <sighs> Perfect. So we're going to use the black one and then the white one. Okay, we'll do that. What? That was weird. Alright, black one, go in there. We're gonna make him party. But don't overdose uh, him. Put in just enough for okay. one drag. All right, one drag. Fine. There he goes. All right, scamper away. He's gonna get turned. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> Nice. What a rager. That was unexpected. Okay, he's tired now. Smooth jazz. So. Well, first we need to break the radio again. Uh oh, your radio broke. You need to get a new radio. <laughs> All right, then the white one. Eh. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Sweet. 
Sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get the keys. Yay! Finally, the key to my door. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? You can't. Ah! Uh -uh. Just great. Oh, can you imagine? Uh seems to be dissolving. I think I don't feel so good. Hi, my name is Jonas. I'm from Germany and I make adventure games. Okay, let's give this another try. At the moment, I'm working on <laughs> Prim, a drop-dead charming, creepy but cute Point and click adventure game. Whoa. Too long for you? No problem. Let me put it this way. Imagine Monkey Island. But Tim Burton made the art and Terry Pratchett wrote the story, inspired by Greek mythology. That's basically what it feels like to play Prim. Oh, and it's in black and white. You play as Prim. Death's daughter, who receives a call for help from a human boy. Unfortunately, her father would never allow her to travel to the land of the living. So Prim tricks her dad, but when she finally reaches Earth, it turns out to be just as dangerous as her father told her it would be. What kind of beastie are you? At its core, Prim is a pretty traditional point-and-click adventure game, but with modern perks such as HD graphics, a one-click interface, and an optional hotspot display. And hey, we got a cute little spider eye that is Prim's sidekick. Just great. You can already play our demo, which is, by the way, fully voiced in English. I'm not a baby. I'm much too old for rocking horses. And German. Wenn du mich fragst, klingen alle diese Sprachen, als wären sie komplett ausgedacht. The final game will have a playtime of about six to eight hours. We're confident that we'll be able to release it in 2022. That all sounds pretty ambitious, right? Yes! Well, here's where you guys come in. My team and I, we need your help to make Prim look, move, and sound. I can't let it climb out of the window. It's much too high. As good as possible. And of course, you get something in return. Apart from the game itself, the Becker rewards include a digital art book and the game soundtrack. And we also have some pretty cool physical rewards, like our cute little Prim doll. Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Or the big box version of the game that comes in a handmade wooden coffin. So, why are you still watching this video? Back Prim on Kickstarter now. Let's make this game happen together. Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Okay, well that was an unexpected video. <laughs> But I looked into it and I know that they said that they anticipated releasing the full game in 2022. That did not happen. The game has still not been released. So please go show your support. This game looks amazing. I love this. If you want to play it for yourself, I'm going to leave a link to the demo in the description as always. As well as a link to the Twitch channel, the Discord, join the Discord, and my full horror playlist. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.